The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John, chapter 8, verses 31 to 36. Then Jesus said to the Jews who had believed in him, If you continue in my word, you are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. They answered him, We are descendants of Abraham and have never been slaves to anyone. What do you mean by saying you will be made free? Jesus answered them, Very truly, I tell you, everyone who commits sin is a slave to sin. The slave does not have a permanent place in the household. The son has a place there forever. So if the Son makes you free, you will be free indeed. For the Gospel of the Lord. Let us pray. God of every nation, God of every tongue and being, we come to give you thanks and to celebrate your blessing on us and on all with whom we share our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today we come to celebrate Australia Day as a community of faith. It was the first celebration I had with you as I be became part of your faith community. It seems to be a contentious and controversial celebration which seems to continue divide Australians. Well, every day should be Australia Day. So what is it that we come to celebrate as Australians? We come to celebrate an amazing and unique continent. The biggest island in the world with all its little islands that are scattered around its shores. We come and celebrate the land of fire and drought with a desert at its heart. With absolute unique fauna, animals and birds, the flora, the plants, exquisite only found here and nowhere else. We come and celebrate a richness in diversity of the sea locked country with its diverse people from all over the, the world sharing this land in hospitality 
of a community of peoples that were the first inhabitants from more than 60,000 odd years ago. We come and celebrate a diversity of different nationalities and cultures coming together by choice. Sharing their talents and skills, their voices and resilience as they journey into becoming one nation. A new version of the national anthem now proclaims this. One and free, no longer young and free. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he chose to be his own possession, says the psalmist. The prophet Jeremiah reminds us what, what God says. For surely I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans for your welfare and not for your harm. To give you a future with hope, then when you call upon me and come and pray to me, I will hear you. When you search for me, you will find me. If you seek me with all your heart, I will let you find me, says the Lord. Yes, we come and celebrate a, a country with diverse faith communities from all over the world, affirming for us that God is the Lord of all and everyone and all persuasions. No matter who we are, we are the Lord's. We belong to God and to each other. St. Paul encourages us when he says, be at peace among yourselves. And we urge you, beloved, to admonish the idlers, encourage the faint-hearted, help the weak. Be patient with all of them. See that none of you repays evil for evil, but always seek to do good to one another and to all. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ for you. I often hear you speak of Australia being a lucky country. We should not depend on luck, but rather see it as God's blessing in every way. Especially now in this present pandemic, God has indeed blessed us. We are literally free of the virus. God is encouraging us to look beyond ourselves and to strive for the good of all. The Gospel of John reminds us to abide in Christ, to stay in Christ. If you continue in my word, you are my true disciples and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Yes, it is when we stand when we all stand and live in and with God, that we discover the truth about ourselves and others. God's Spirit in us and with us, continually guiding us and revealing the truth for us. To unite us as one people of the only true God, one nation, one human race, bound in love, bound in God. So what do we come and celebrate today? We come and celebrate one another as the gift of God to each other. We come and celebrate God's goodness invested in each one of us. We come and celebrate our hum humanity. We come and celebrate our frailty, our uniqueness, and the joy of being the people of God on this planet on this land, and sharing our lives with each other for the common good. This is what we celebrate. The gift of God, you and I, to one, an to one another and to the whole world. Be blessed, be safe, be kind, be at peace.